<laughs> What's good YouTube? It's Ray's Real. So in today's video I want to show you guys how to send the most dominant four man rush in Madden 25. So if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on sports notifications on. So first I want to tell you guys thank you for still rocking with me. Um my life has been extremely busy. If you've been keeping up with me in the community section, I kind of told you guys exactly how my life has been busy. So all the prayers, all the thoughts have been greatly appreciated. Um now I am going to be coming out with a video after this on my offense that I love on this game and it's going to be displaying the offensive ebook. So if you're excited for all that, uh, go and drop a like and just let me know in the comments but I'm gonna try to make this a quick video honestly I, I mean it this time when I say it but without further ado let's go in and get into it man so I am in the Ravens defensive playbook again I'm in the Ravens defensive playbook now before I go any further I love to do this with y'all um, I just love to show it for transparency that I am on all Madden um, so when I'm showing you guys this I need you to understand that it does work and not only am I on all Madden I also love to show you guys that I am also going to be using a pretty bad team. So I'm not using the best team when I'm showing you these defensive schemes or whatever. So that way you understand that they work. So first and foremost, we're going to be in this 3-4 under. And um, you really want to make sure in this spot right here, uh, if you realize he's kind of by himself, um, this is the guy we're going to be using. So you want somebody who's pretty fast here. Uh, so I'm just going to put in uh, Chase, and I believe he's fast. I'm not sure, but you just don't want somebody just extremely slow. Um, in case you want to look, you can put any type of outside linebackers here, any type of middle linebackers. So just keep that in mind um, whenever you're calling this. Now, you can do this out of any play you want to out of this. So you can use anyone where that left guy is blitzing. So you see where 45 is. Uh, basically anyone that's blitzing on the left so we can use cover three cover one uh, we can use that blitz we can literally use every single play in here except for MLB crossfire because you can tell that outside backer is not blitzing so I'm just gonna use uh, just cover three for now um, and this will work versus anything but preferably you want to run this versus the gun but you definitely can't use it under center and I do have gameplay for you guys to show in a second and we'll just come out and let's just come out and corner strike just to show the running backs block uh, blocking okay so uh, right here notice that our outside backer is on that right side so you're gonna identify where he is and all we're gonna do is slide the line towards him and then shift our linebackers away from that guy so to do that you press uh, left on a directional hit slide right to slide him right and then hit right on the directional slide shift your linebackers to the right and if you do it correctly this is what it's going to look like now the good thing is that you don't even have to hover for this blitz to come in now it is a little bit more effective if you do but um this is essentially all the setup is uh and i'll talk to you in a second about how i like to tweak things and all that but in a sense you just snap the ball and all we're looking for is that right there and i can't tell you how consistent that is um it's the what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna end up having to slide their line um and you can tell it glitches them out pretty well and essentially all that's happening here is that we're just forcing because of the natural slant angle that these plays have it already slants towards this tackle and it's supposed to get the guard and the tackle supposed to switch but they almost don't ever do that and then we get a nice little four-man rush that comes through so again um i'll show you that here again and that's all the setup is and you don't have to do anything fancy and like i said i can go use their safety if i want to i can literally use her anybody i want to and you can tell it's gonna come in again and i like to run things twice to show you but just for fun i'm gonna go to a different play and just show you again so let's go to cover one hole and then i'll also show you it works on the other side so it can work to the right or to the left so you can actually have auto flip on when you're running this okay so as you can tell boom that time it doesn't come in but the thing i like about this is even if it doesn't come in you still get a solid uh pass rush so um we'll go back to cover one hole and then i'll actually try to flip the play here see if they'll flip okay uh no nah, i don't it didn't do what I wanted to so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try auto flip off because I just want to show you real quick that you definitely can use it to the other side so we'll just go cover one hole and we'll go against a different formation uh, let's go slot post and just to show you that you can use it that's all that's why I want to show you this and also like I said I got game plan I'm about to show you here in a second but I just wanted to quickly just show you this uh, and of course they're gonna kind of pick it up right there but in a sense it does work okay so whenever you're doing this uh another thing i like to do too is a couple cover shells if you want some you'll see me call some in the game but if i'm on man um i do like to uh put my purples 
if I want to zone drop them to about five and play kind of aggressive or if I want to put my curl flats to about 20 I put a curl flat right here and then normally I'll use either this three rack or I'll put my three rack in a zone like like for example I may drop them at like 15 if I feel like they're running a lot of post and in routes or I may drop them at five and I'll use her this running back right here So the good thing about this is that you just have a lot of options that you can do even if um, I wouldn't guard them But you get the idea that you have a lot of options Okay, so last thing I want to mention before I show you this gameplay and how effective this defense is um, I want to show you my favorite cover shell um, Real quick while I got you here then I'll talk about a blitz and then that'll be all I'm talking about on here so what I like to do is I actually like to go to my flats and I'll put them at 20 or 25. Normally I start off at 20 just to see. And I put my curl flats at 5 and then I leave my hooks alone until they show until I see what type of player I'm dealing with. But typically I'll set it up just like this. And what I like to do is actually go to this uh where is it at right here? I like to go to this cover six right here. So with this cover six, uh we'll go to a different formation this time. Why not? So we'll just go to bunch this time just because. Um what I like to do is first I'll set it up and again it's a very simple setup and again it's more consistent if you want to blitz your person and kind of hover this gap right here it is a little bit more consistent but you don't have to as you can tell but anyways what I like to do is um I'll grab this guy or this guy depending on where they align uh, depending on which one I can grab easier I'll grab him and I'll throw him to this side and I will have a double Mabel on that left side and then on his right side uh, I'll typically drop a cover too and I'll basically use it a deep middle myself or if I don't want to do that, then I'll just simply um, I'll simply take that guy out here and I'll put him in a hard flat, and then I'll kind of just watch the flats myself in the middle. So this is basically just a high risk defense, basically. Uh, but to be honest with you, my favorite uh, cover shell out of this is a true double Mabel, where I'm just giving up the middle because uh, I'm, I'm banking on the pressure getting in, and like I said, I'm just gonna go worry about the deep if that makes sense. Now, obviously, nobody came there, but. That is typically my favorite cover shell. Um, I want to get this blitz in one more time before I before I show you guys this gameplay. I don't know why it's acting up now. There it go. But anyways, uh, that's what I like out of this. And last thing I want to give you is a blitz. So if you want to blitz out of this, I like to do the same look. But I'm gonna show you what play I like to do. And uh, this is part of what I talk about in the ebook as well. But I'm just gonna give you a little intro of it right now. So basically, if I want to blitz and I feel like they're sliding to pick it up, then basically what I'll do, like, for example, if they're blocking their running back and, you know, and I just really want to blitz, or even if they're not blocking their running back, I'll show the same look. So notice where my backer is, um, then I'll rotate them. Now, I'll come out in this pinch buck, like I said, and then I'll just kind of zone out only one of them. So I'll zone out triangle, I'll take my user and I'll blitz them, and now I'll hover this gap. And now, normally the thought process is they're gonna try to ID this guy right here if I can get to him they're gonna try to ID him slide the line right and all that they're gonna try to do all that and um this it's great just because I can still get that pressure to be guaranteed if that makes sense now uh, I love to do it whenever I notice they're sliding their line or I notice when I'm blitzing they're not really getting home um like when I'm sending four and he's just not getting there then I'll call this because a lot of times what happens they'll slide their line to the right and then this guy right here would normally come screaming or if you want to get guaranteed then just leave him just go ahead and send him but i like to just drop him off and just rush five um that's just me personally and normally you will get somebody through but all in all uh i'll break down more when i do a defensive ebook but in a sense you're gonna you're about to see right now how great this defense is all right y'all so in the first game right here i actually did get matched up against the uh jets and it's also good against the run this was why i really like this defense and again it's a very very easy setup so for this first game i kind of skipped around a little bit um not much but i just kind of cut out a couple plays and um, the reason for that is because the, the first downs it didn't really do much and I planned on making this like a highlight style but I decided to play another game because I just didn't expect the person to quit this fast which you're about to see here in a second but uh, anyways uh, I just wanted you to kind of get an intro and just look at how good this defense is and just how much pressure you can get before and I think he just didn't want to deal with it more in fact it was only 6-6 six, six, so it wasn't like it was just you know I was just stomping him or nothing but either way uh, this right here was pretty much the first official full game that I've had with this defense and all in all I, I really liked it um, but Either way, um, you see he's taking his check down, so this let me know that, you know, he's a pretty smart player, which is, I like going against smart people, you know, it just makes the game more competitive in, in a sense, but uh, anyways, 
basically, I really wanted to stay in this four-man front. And also, a lot of times that will happen where they have a random disengage. Uh, that's what I realized too about this defense. You can tell, boom, we're going to get that loop. And basically, there isn't really, in my opinion, any other defense right now that you can kind of get this type of pressure with with only rushing four. As far as the consistency, you know, um, and the good thing about this is when they start trying to slide that their line, you're going to be able to capitalize on, you know, rushing five like that five man blitz really will get home so uh you also can have auto flip on i recommend it it's just you got to kind of learn where your outside backer is the one who's go you're going to just base everything off of so what helped me out with uh being good at what i have an auto flip on with this is to go ahead and learn the number of that outside linebacker so for example in this game he was number 58 so it made it easy so as soon as i broke the huddle i looked for 58 and then i actually went opposite of him well i'm into the same side as him but um it makes it easier if you have like a kind of star on the guy um now if you're playing mutt you probably have multiple stars probably not this early but you probably got a couple but anyways it makes it easier to kind of know where that guy is as you can tell he's he's person with the star on them but anyways this is the covers i was telling you about um and i just i really like this coverage man um you can tell i right there i feel like i got robbed but it's it's a great coverage if you have a disciplined user basically so if you're not trying to go chase everything it's a good coverage to run especially if that four man is going to get home but right there uh, no clue where my flat guy was i think i didn't put one out there i actually don't remember but <laughs> We need to make sure we get that guy out there. Now, you keep noticing me flipping that guy over, and it's basically because I didn't like the fact that I was out, out leveraged on that left side. Um, because when I'm rotating those linebackers to the right, I'm technically missing a backer on the left. Like, I'm, I'm out I'm out leveraged, basically, is the best way I can put it in the run game. But, anyways, good job by my opponent right there. Uh, definitely should have been on that, but... Again, uh, this is another one of my favorite shells to run for man, but sadly I forgot that you got to kind of watch out who you have at the outside linebacker. So my recommendation, if you're going to do this on regs, you want to make sure you have a team that has great linebackers. So uh, the Bills, unfortunately, do not have the best linebackers in the game by far, you know, so uh, make sure you are aware of that. It's right there. We were able to knock the ball out, so very fortunate about that, and I'm, exact, I'm actually excited to show you guys my offense as well. Um, got a lot of great things on there and just kind of give you a little hint about it. So, uh, which I'm gonna post it here in a, in a little while anyways, but I got a nice, it, I got a nice play. Basically it beats man coverage and the same setup is going to beat every single match coverage. So like literally just beat it straight down the middle for a one play touchdown. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, the user can't just run there because they're going to have to worry about another route. Uh, so it's a nice little concept, but anyways, um, as you guys can tell, I'm trying to squeeze in a lot when I'm talking to y'all because I just, I haven't been able to talk to y'all, man. And I haven't been able to even be on the game like that, to be honest. Like, when I tell y'all my life has been kind of crazy, it's really been crazy that I just haven't been able to just spend a whole full day just grinding on the game. So, I finally got to the point to where I can get it, you know, play it enough and get familiar with it enough to put out a video because I just don't want to give you guys something that's just, you know, BS, you know, and I'm big on that, but um anyways this is actually the last play of the game here so i do appreciate y'all and you know if you enjoyed this go ahead and drop a like on it it helps my channel out a lot and i do pray you have a blessed day i'm rage real and where is it at <laughs> oh yeah anyway i'm rage real and i'm out